you first start with the gait analysis and assist the patient in his gait pattern. You can see the patient is wearing the shoes that he came in with. The chief complaint is the left foot. The right foot is already pretty much totally collapsed, which we'll see when he walks barefooted. The left one being pretty swollen, and that's going through the collapse phase in between two and three. And you can also illustrate, see if he comes in, and we'll do this slow motion here. You can see that his left foot actually doesn't pick up as well as the right foot. Again, it's probably weaker. There's a lot of swelling and inflammation. Again, that's his chief complaint on that left foot. You see the total collapse of the right. When we illustrate and demonstrate the casting, we're going to use the right one. Is the right one is a bit more flexible. The left one is still going through that collapse phase and it's a little swollen and less flexible. He almost drags that left foot going through. The, the helix almost drags the ground because of the pickup. He does pick it up, but he uses his knee more to pick that foot up. He turns around. He's got good balance overall. Along with your visual gait analysis, you want to grab the foot and palpate it, and you can see in this condition it is flexible. But in the supine position, if you would cast it, it's very easily overcorrect and lock the sit tailor joint in this plantar flex position. The patient will not be able to tolerate this much correction. That's why it's important to cast an AFO in a semi weight bearing position. So if you do it that way, you will not be you will not be able to overcorrect, and we're going to illustrate that and demonstrate that actually in this uh, casting. And even here, it illustrates how that sept tailor is locked, and the patient isn't able to dorsiflex. And when the patient tries to dorsiflex, there you can see where he has to a abduct. In positioning for a semi weight bearing, you position the patient, have him relax. Don't have them lean over watching what you're doing. Position the footboard. Get all those elements correct before you put the plaster or the SDS or whatever you're going to cast with. And what you do here, again, it's flexible. So I'm taking my right hand. It's the right foot I'm casting. I'm taking the right hand behind the calcaneus, and I'm just leveraging it and shoving that calcaneus right underneath the talus. And with my other hand, I am plantar flexing that first. You can see it right there. 